Good morning. Look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Your eyes will guard and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know I am with you as I was with Moses. Now command the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant to come to a halt in the Jordan when you reach the edge of the waters. So Joshua called the children of Israel. Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that there is a living God in your midst, who at your approach will dispossess the Canaanites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of the whole earth will precede you into the Jordan. When the soles of the feet of the priest carrying the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of the whole earth, touch the water of the Jordan, it will cease to flow, for the water flowing down from upstream will halt in a solid bank. The people struck their tents to cross the Jordan, with the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant ahead of them. No sooner had these priestly bearers of the Ark waded into the waters at the edge of the Jordan, which overflows all its banks during the entire season of the harvest, then the waters flowing from upstream halted, backing up in a solid mass for a very great distance indeed, from Adam, a city in the direction of Zarinthan, while those flowing downstreams toward the salt sea of the Arabah disappeared entirely. Thus the people crossed over opposite Jericho. While all Israel crossed over on dry ground, the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord remained motionless on dry ground in the bed of the Jordan until the whole nation had completed the passage. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Responsorial, Alleluia. Alleluia. When Israel came forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of alien tongue, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his domain. Alleluia. The sea beheld and fled, 
Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like the lambs of the flock. Alleluia. Why is it, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn back. You mountains that you skip like rams, you hills like the lambs of the flock. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I said to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That's why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a letter was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we all know that uh, God is just and merciful. These are two different things. Justice means, you know, could be in different ways, but somebody has to pay the price for uh, their own justice. Mercy is God forgives uh, the, the sinner. So two different concepts. Let's focus basically, it speaks about we'll hand you over to torturers. So imagine if you think about someone has something against you or you have something against somebody or I think more usually that thought comes to your mind constantly. It bothers you constantly. And sometimes even at night, you know, it just comes back to your mind and bother you. And that's kind of a torturing. The thinking that somebody has something against me or I have something against someone can come back to my mind constantly and bother me and torture me. And that can be a constant thing. And that bothers and that make, could make me sick could make me bad, could may destroy my peace of mind. That's what Jesus is telling, kind of uh, help us to understand. If we can get that out, that's the only process is called pro uh, forgiving the other person. That doesn't mean that uh, that person will receive it or accept it or be reconciled, it's totally different thing. This is all about I try with the help of God, with his grace, get those, that out of my heart, out of my mind. Therefore, it's no more a problem for me. 
Otherwise, that can affect me as a torturer, tortures my mind, my heart constantly. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to see Jesus in others. For the church, may her gospel of repentance and forgiveness continue to reach the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policymakers, may God's spirit guide their decisions and actions in working for justice, peace, and respect for the gift of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with sinful habits, may the Lord's promise of forgiveness and new life give them a heart filled with repentance and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, May the peace of Jesus Christ be at the heart of all we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in Christ, may they soon enter into God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass, which is for the repose of the soul of Geraldine Vitt, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty of salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy You are indeed holy alone, the fountiful holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Amen. 
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord, who gives you your fill of finest wheat. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And O thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits 
who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.